Guys, and today it's time to pick the team to place win in town in League One tomorrow. Just to let you know, because at the end of the transfer window today, I will be back with a pretty much transfer roundup um, later tonight because I'm signing a player from Wolves today. So let's get started. So, in goal, I would have Lee Burst. The reason why is because I think he did well since the mistake he had against Bristol Road, giving the penalty away. Away. And. And he kept three clean seats in a row um, whenever, and as well, whenever I saw Matthew, I just haven't been impressed by him, so yeah. Right centre back, this might be strange, but I put Conor McLaughlin. The reason why is because injuries to, to Jamali and Feeney, and with Flank and Mitch Spender, we saw at the back, and we've only got two centre half, half so. So I would just slot McLaughlin into the right hand side just to cover for, for the game, so yeah. Then, then in the middle, I put Bailey right. The reason why is because there's nothing there to be said. He's a championship defender in League One. Too good for the league. Um, and I believe that that it'll be a big part of like what we're doing this season because in defence, wherever he's there, we just look rock solid at the back. So, yeah. Then left centre back switching, I'll put John Willis. The reason why is because I will play Conor on the right and play. Wills on the left, the reason why, because again, again, no one even said he's just sold as a rock. And I believe that he'll be another player that has got to be part to play in a good defensive record, so yeah. Then right wing back, Luke all nine. The reason why, because again, again, there's nothing to be said. Um, um, he did walk here against Charl Charlton, like, being a threat down the, like, right-hand side. And, and yes, and I believe Jack Diamond... Um, could push him all the way, but I've just added all nine, so yeah. Then, the first centre mid, I will play um, Chris Maguire, the reason why, cause, because um, I don't necessarily think we missed him again against um, Charlton Cup. We did create a chance, but just didn't put the ball in the net. Um, he showed um, against Carlisle what he can do. Like, he got two goals from that thing. Technically, he got two assists. So, yeah. Then, the defensive midfielder, Grant Ledbetter. In my opinion, he's been our player of the same so far with Denver Hume. I'll get him why Hume's not in when I get to Goats, but, but that bit has been fantastic. Yeah, for me, I know he scored against Peter Bauer, but, but Charlton was his best performance. The one before the international break, and I say no reason to drop him at the minute. I think, think whether he gets dropped, like, I wouldn't say dropped, but whether we take him out to rest him, Again, on Tuesday for crew, I don't know, because we've got Portsmouth next week, so yeah. Then, this won't be a strange one, but I will play Dan Nail. The reason why is because this guy is good enough. Just because you're eating, it doesn't mean Parkinson should look at his they should look at his football ability. And I believe Dan Nail wouldn't look at a place in League One. If Parkinson did go with Scowen, I wouldn't complain because... Scammed did well, but I just want to say no, and I'm um, you're not going to, and you're all going to play that bit of Maguire still, so yeah. Left wing back, I put Lyndon Goots. The reason why I could then fume Lyndon, and I believe, believe playing on the wing wing is something that Goots will be better at, even if it's a wing back, because cause he can run at people and stuff. While at while if he's playing when Maguire's playing, he can't run at people, so yeah. Then first striker, Danny Graham. The reason why is because, although we did miss a set or two again, so I thought he had a really good game, playing well, holding the ball up well, and, and against Carlisle when he came on for about 10-15 minutes, he showed why, why with the diamond goal, where he just laid it off nicely, why he's so useful for us, so yeah, and I thought he was good, but it was against him with the Danny Graham really, where he played well and missed, and could have scored, he had a good chance, so, do I say no reason? If he, again, like I'll see with, was it Neil, where I said, if he plays Greg, I wouldn't complain. him. At least he doesn't play wide, although I think he will after, after scoring a lucky goal against Carlisle. So, yeah. On the bench, Remy Matthews, George Dobson, Max Power, Josh Scorn, Will Grigg, Jack Diamond, and Benji Kimpioka. So, uh, I think still on the wing, wing 3-1, be because with the defensive issues, I don't think we'll keep clean stage, I'm going to go 3-1 to Sunderland. I'll see a Danny Greenman and Ian O'Brien to score. I would have said Dan Neal, but I don't think he'll score, so I'll just gamble Chris McGuire. So, yeah. So, a like, subscribe, view, comment, and see. Yeah.